The Secret of the Night Train by Sylvia Bishop. One small girl, an unexpected detective, a handful of suspects. All aboard the night train, where no one is as they seem. As Max takes off on a thrilling journey across Europe by train, can she unravel the mystery of a priceless missing diamond and find a way to bring the jewel thief to justice? I really like this book because it's a mystery. As the character is trying to solve the mystery, the reader is too. When I read the book, I ended up having two characters who I suspected committed the crime. And at the end, when I found out who it really was, that was one of the characters I thought. You might be able to borrow this book from your library or buy yourself a copy at a bookshop. It's on Amazon as well. It costs £5.94 on Amazon and there'll be a link on the web page that you can follow if you want to order it there. If you go to books.google.co.uk, you can actually download the first two chapters of this book and read it yourself. Um, chapter one, I'll read to you, is a short chapter. It's called The Beginning. Max Morel had never left France in her life. Now, on the first day of the Christmas holidays, she was sitting on the 355 train from Paris to Munich, a city in Germany. It felt like a dream, an odd sort of dream. Max was sitting with her nose pressed to the window, wrapped in a warm navy coat and three scarves, accompanied by a nun who was humming to herself and fixing a shoe. Why three scarves? Because December was bitter that year and Max's mother had a great fear of the cold and an even greater fear of faraway foreign cold. Why the humming nun? That is a difficult question. Sister Marguerite is not really the sort of person to whom why applies. You would just have to put up with her. And why was Max on the train at all? That is a much easier question. She was going to visit her great aunt Elodie in Istanbul. Or at least that was the plan. But perhaps to really explain things, we need to begin with the day that great aunt Elodie called. <laughs> 